Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Super Attacker here, and welcome to the final episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, we ascended up to the sky and began to take on the Sky Tower. We made it halfway. We made it up to the halfway point, and we still have a decent little bit to, of ways to go. If any of the past dungeons that have been like this are any indication. How's it going, that Fate? Be sure to stay focused from here. We're nearly there, Super. We have to climb up to the summit and let Rayquaza know about the star. Let's keep at it, Super. I still can't believe that we're actually at the end of this journey. Let's move on. Sky Tower Summit, 26th floor. Flygon! Oh my goodness, hello Flygon. Flygon is a dragon ground type. Starting out things strong. It's obviously not very uh, defensive, considering... Wow. Good thing we have blast control. Heh. <laughs> I guess, I guess Aqua still having her rare quality is decent. Um... Yeah, abs- so, as you can see, Aqua having Blizzard is very, very useful, although when we have the overpoweredness of Fate, of course, that isn't really the worst thing. Jeez, Fate? Leave some for us. I want to try and use Blizzard on something that's four times effective, my gosh. Wow, I'm- I'm hitting every single trap. Alright, here we go. Come on, Aqua! Really? Only 88 damage? We have to use power-up drinks on that. Let's move on. I- I just want to say that this journey that we've been on together has been so much fun. And I am so happy to finally be able to do something. I can finally say that I've also finished a game on this channel. That's- which is a little dumb to say, but- but I can finally say that I've finished a game on this channel. Which is a bit embarrassing, considering how long I've been doing content creation now. But, yeah. So, strategy is same as before. You, de you definitely do not want to get taken out right about now. So, be very, very careful, as always, of any monster houses, rooms like that, because those rooms can show up and just absolutely destroy you. Tropius. Aqua, use Blizzard. Beautiful Aqua. Also, just like the previous dungeon, we or previous floors, we still cannot recruit any Pokemon from here. Oops, I meant to hit Shadow Ball. <laughs> Let's use Shadow Ball here. Really? Alright, oh. Aerodactyl is in the room. I didn't realize- I thought pressure I thought you had to be like, right next to the Pokemon in order for pressure to activate. I didn't realize it was just the same room. God, revive all orb. I don't really have too much to talk about except the different music for this part, so let me just be quiet so y'all can have a listen to it. Thank you. 
You think it's just so... I don't know what the word is, but just so subtle. It doesn't feel like music for an endgame dungeon, almost. It's... it's like... it's like your journey is just beginning. Still. But yet, still, this is still probably one of my favorite songs in the entirety of this game. Looks like we have a monster house over there. I want to see if I can do... I want to see if I can, uh, deal with a monster house without having to use a one-shot orb. Genuinely curious to see if that's possible. Super level just raised to level 35. Very, very good. Hopefully it's a monster- I also want to do this so that we can get some more experience. I'm gonna go ahead and use a- I'm gonna go ahead and sort my inventory out first of all. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and use a max elixir on Aqua here. All right. If I if it gets a bit too dicey, then I will use the one shot orb. Oh my god! There is so much green all over the place. All right, Absol. Here we go. We know that we can take a Flygon really easily. Ooh, that's right, there's Earthquake and Earth Power here. And both Fate and Aqua got taken out, oh gosh. This is why the monster houses are terrifying. I'm gonna take a step back into this room here. Now this is another tactic here that you can do if you find yourself stuck in a monster house. Retreating into a corridor is a very valid strategy. I believe the game also recommended this as well. Oh god, Aerodactylus used agility. Agility will boost the movement speed of every single Pokemon, which means they can move two tiles in one turn rather than just one. Let's go ahead and use an Orin Berry on Fate. Alright, let's hit- let's finish these Flygons off with one last Thor's Dance and... Rule swing combo, beautiful. All right, let's get some items. Slumber orb, a roll call orb. Looks like we have a another Aerodactyl coming this way. My entire first, here's a fun fact. My entire first playthrough in this game, back when I borrowed my friend's cartridge, this dungeon for a solid Two or three floors straight was just- the stairs were in three monster houses for like three floors straight. I kid you not. And as a kid, when I- when I didn't understand how to use like orbs and like AoE moves and all that, I- yeah, I- I, I may have- I somehow managed to get for the first two, but then I failed on the, uh, 30, or on the last floor. So, <laughs> I remember it quite vividly. It was actually around, uh, it was roughly a year after I played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky that I played this game. So, or I played Pokemon Blue Rescue Team, I believe. Come here, Aerodactyl. Yeah, this this journey has been so, so much fun. There's not really too, too much to talk about. I said pretty much everything that I needed to about this dungeon in last episode. Oh, that's right, Quick Attack cannot go around corners. Ah! No! Super! No! Don't get taken out like that. Don't get hit by a bunch of fallen boulders. This dungeon is definitely our longest one that we have ever been in. That is for sure. So we are going to use every strategy that we have tried to get 
Fixated. I don't know. I don't know. My commentary is just kind of be being turned to nothing because of how long the dungeon is. <laughs> I completely forgot how long it was. Because I, I don't know. I don't know if I said this before. I can't. Whoa. Hi, Metagross. We've seen some strong foe Pokemon here now. But I don't know if I actually said this before, but I don't look up how many floors are in a dungeon before I go into it, just because I want it to be somewhat of, a, somewhat of a surprise. I was doing that a little bit earlier in the playthrough, but it was making, but I realized it was making things feel a bit less authentic. So, or at least to me, it did. All right, Metagross, chillax. You don't, need, you don't need to float up in the air. Let's go ahead and use a Max Elixir on Fate. I trust that Aqua and Super can handle whatever Pokemon just came out here. Claydol. Boop. Ah. Let's use Bite. Hammer arm! Oh my god. You know, I, I, I should have expected that. Good thing I brought a ton of tiny reviver seeds! Ay ay ay. Yeah, just like always, just like I keep saying, you don't want to get greedy like I, like I am. <laughs> Is this the top floor? Who goes there? Who dares to trespass upon my airspace? That voice! Indeed it is. The sky of my domain. Depart at once. But... We don't have the time to argue. We came here because we need your help. Nah! I am a being of the sky, and you are but denizens of the ground. To each there is a world destined as their own. For hundreds of million years, never once have I descended to the ground. And the opposite shall also hold true. Let there be no mercy for those that defy the laws of nature. Prepare for the end! Ray Quaza, the dragon flying type Pokemon of that I am sure many, many people know. Right away, I am going to throw a sleep seed, put you to sleep. Because, uh, oh, that didn't work very well. Because bosses do not like to stay asleep. We did just, we did just do a flinch. Okay. Okay, I have to be very, very careful here. Um. Hmm. Okay. I am not coming in here with too much of a plan. I'm gonna use this slumber orb to try and put you to sleep again, Rikwaza. Please stay asleep for a turn. Okay. Awesome. Now I am going to go ahead and use an all power up orb to boost Super, Fate, and Aqua's attack and special attack. Rayquaza is very, very powerful. Drum winds, gusts, and the clouds beneath shake violently. Throughout this fight, strong winds will be displacing you and your team. Wherever you see, wherever you see these green tiles are where the gusts of wind will appear from. Since Aqua has Blizzard, she doesn't have to worry about this too much but it's still quite terrifying. Rayquaza has just woken up. Ow! Wind sweeps us away again. I should have just used Shadow Ball. Aqua got blown away. I'm gonna hope that one of them will let me- 
We'll uh, use an Orm Berry during their turn. I'm gonna use Swift. We are dealing plenty of damage to Rayquaza. My best, uh, my best advice for this fight is to use your strongest moves and use a lot of moves that will go and, or a lot of items that will boost your attack power. Nice fate! Winds are gonna swirl up, swirl around. Aqua is getting warped all over the place. Go ahead and use a blizzard. 158 damage! Rayquaza is dragon flying type, so ice type moves are four times super effective against it. Wow. We beat him. What? An earthquake? It's not possible! We're on top of the clouds! These are shock waves! And they're huge! That's it! I got it! Look straight up, Rikwaza! Meteor's about to land. What is that? It's a shooting star, and it's enormous! It'll destroy the world if it continues on its path. That's why we came, Rayquaza. Please destroy the falling star! So that is why. Yes, please hurry and destroy it! Before I try, I need to know your resolve. The star has come too close. If I were to lose my hypermeep here, you would not escape unscathed. So? We accepted that from the start! Well said! Rayquaza could use Hyper Beam in the cutscene. Take charge of your destiny! Rayquaza could use Hyper Beam. Oh my god! This cutscene is so cool! This is no dream. Yes. Star's explosion swallowed me. And now I'm adrift as a spirit. What's going to happen? The shadow. Gengar? Get yeah, yeah, super! Didn't take much to put you down! Sent you right! Yeah, yeah. Now what to do with you? I know! I'll drag you into the dark world! That'll do it! Gengar is dragging me. Gengar said he would drag me into the dark world? What is the dark world? Am I gonna be abandoned in a world I don't know?
Huh? Darn it! I took the wrong path. What? This isn't like me. I can't tell which way is which. Yeah, forget it. I'll just ditch you here. That's it. Goodbye to you. Hey! Hey, can you hear- Snap out of it! Huh? This place... Uh... Regain consciousness. Oh! I'm sure of it. I'm sure. Back there. Gengar saved me. Maybe... Did Gengar save Super too? Awesome! You're alive! You've really had us all worried! You were incredible! I'm so glad you're safe! It's fantastic! Everyone, thank you, but... What about the star? What happened to it? Fear not, the star is no more. Though it will not be right away, the disaster shall soon be calmed. Where's our friend? Be calm, your friend is safe. Really? We did it, Super! Everything worked! We've won peace. Yippee! This is luxurious! This calls for a celebration! Let me shoot my hydro pump to kick it off! Well, hold on there! Don't you point those things at me! Face the other way! The other way! No, no, let it loose! Ha! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! I'll secure him so he can't get away! Oh? Not bad. What? You're serious? <laughs> Super. Gardevoir. We owe everything to you, Super, and your friends. Peace has returned to our world. Thank you for everything. And now, Super, your role here has ended. Soon you must return to your own world. It is time to bid farewell. It's finally come. This time has finally arrived. Super, I am so sorry for this. To everyone, please bid farewell. Super? Ah! Super! Your body! What's happening to you? Aqua. And everyone. I'm sorry. But I have to leave. What? Wh what are you saying? Everyone. Thank you for everything over all this time. Huh? Leave? What do you mean, leave? My role as a Pokemon has ended. I have to return to the human world. Unbelievable! Go back to the human world? Huh? Why? Why? I don't understand. Why do you have to leave? Didn't we? Aren't we friends? Yes. You will always be my friend, Aqua. I will never forget you. Don't oh, go, Super. I'm lucky to have met you. I... What am I gonna do when you're gone, Super? I'm so very sorry. This is goodbye. Super! Super! 
Super! Super no! Super. Why? I don't understand. Why? Why was it necessary to leave us? Super saved my life. I hadn't done anything to show my thanks. Left. Before I could even say thanks. You're right. Just upped and went like that. Why now? Why when the world's been saved? Just when things were going to get better. <laughs> this was coming. Our world, it was saved by Super. I look back now. When bound for the sky, Super seemed... As if resigned. Resigned to accept what was to come. I think I know. Super must have... Super must have became a Pokemon to save us. And when... The star was destroyed... Super knew that would be the time to leave. Why? Why did Super tell me earlier? If this was coming... Why didn't Super tell me? Those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you are heartbroken now, Super must have felt the same pain of leaving. Try to understand, Aqua. Super! What is this? I'm rising into the sky. Is this my spirit? I wonder where I'm going. Oh! Voices! I hear voices! Your friend is heartbroken. A true friend. A friend for life. You finally realize it now. If you wish, and wish very, very strongly, perhaps you will meet again. Oh my god, the story, this game has been such a just, I, I can't put it into words. I have had so much fun making this series. And it has been a complete and just utter blast. I've enjoyed re-watching so many moments. That cutscene with Rayquaza destroying the meteor literally blew my mind. I don't normally cut or talk during the cutscenes during this playthrough. But oh my god, I just had to like say something about that during it. I got emotional during so many parts of this game that... I didn't think we're gonna hit me again, but just, it, it never fails to hit me in the fields, every single time. Now, I'm sure that so, so many people know that this is not the end of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. A lot of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fans know that the true game happens after the main story, with extra dungeons extra storylines, we are far from done. However, I think we are going to take a small break before we continue any of those things to work on some other projects, work on some current projects that are going on. But don't worry, we will be back. In the meantime, enjoy the ending credits.
I don't want to leave. I want to stay longer. With my invaluable... Irreplaceable friend. The story of Super and Aqua ends here, but the attackers aren't done yet. There are many rescues to be done. A new adventure begins. The legendary Pokemon are set to make their appearances. Don't go away! <laughs>